This robot at work in Lausanne is being steered remotely by paraplegic Marc-André Duc from his hospital bed in Sion, 100 kilometers away. He doesn't have to push any buttons. The robot works with brain power alone. Duke's thoughts activate special brain patterns that are recorded using a helmet with electrodes. These patterns are then interpreted by a computer that transmits a command to the robot. C'est fatigant. Il faut être concentré et puis arriver à vider sa tête. This brain interface gets some help from artificial intelligence. Two cameras are installed on each side of the robot, along with image processing software, to help distinguish between different types of objects. The same technology can be used to steer a wheelchair. Um, we have a wide range of prototypes in order for people to move around the wheelchair, to be physically present somewhere else because they are constrained to be in bed, they cannot quit the bed, but yet they all like to participate in the social life. This is the telepresence robot. And then we have another range of prototypes in order to operate the arm and the hand. The prototypes are not yet ready for the production line. They still have to be optimized. I hope that in the next five years we will start seeing things, maybe simple things, um, more sophisticated things later on. The researchers are now looking for industrial partners to market the new prosthetic.